Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a sitemap um, using an image. So, you know, of course, you can use that technique for any kind of linking of uh, images. So, I'm going to start PowerPoint first to actually do my image that I'm going to be using. Um, let's insert a... Um, let's remove this stuff first. And I'm just going to insert a smart art here. There we go, smart art. And let's just do a pyramid that looks nice. How about this one? Segment and pyramid that, that looks nice. We have the HQ. And then we have IT. We have um, HR. And we have finance. Those are the teams that we have. Actually, let's change this into one of these. That one is actually better. And then we change the quick there, and then we change the colors to have something nicely colored. Okay, uh, we can argue with the design there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to save this entire thing as a picture. And I'm going to do that by copying the entire thing, and then just pasting it and as a picture. Paste as a picture. There we go. Now, of course, I can also save this as a picture. And once I have that, I have that, uh, save that as a pyramid. And now I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer. And this is SharePoint Designer 2010 because the SharePoint Designer 2013 does not have this capability. So I'm going to use SharePoint Designer 2010 in order to write the code. So I'm going to create a new HTML page and just open that. Edit the file. And then I'm going to upload the image. Picture like that. And I'm just going to do it from my pictures here. Pyramid, there we go, that's fine. And now I'm going to make that clickable. Let's make that slightly smaller first. Of course, you should always edit the size of the picture before you upload it. But I'm going to be lazy this time and do it quickly. All right, there we go. Now we have a picture, and now when we have this picture, we can go in and look at the picture tools here and make hotspots on this. I'll just do a triangular hotspot here. And that's going to link to internetcontosopen.com. Not the actual. So that will link, of course, to the root side. So that will take me back to where I am. All right. And then do another one hotspot there. Rectangular hotspot again. And do this one. And that's going to link to IT. And I'll go through this again. Hotspot, rectangular hotspot again. And that was uh, HR. And again, finally, with the finance. There we go. Now, the, uh, we can save this, of course, and um, now the, the picture is going to be uploaded into Site Assets, which is where we want it. Um, now we don't actually want to use this untitled HTML page here. We just want to go into the code and see this. And um, we can just do the entire thing here, this thing from map all the way down here. We don't actually need the paragraph there, but the rest of it, that's what we need. So I'm just going to copy all that code, just copy that, and then I'm going to go into my page here, edit source, and we actually don't need all of that either. We can just paste in the code there, and let's see how that works. And there we go, we have the hyperlinked image. Now I'm just going to go in and save that, and you see I click on IT there, and that takes me to the IT site. Home and that click again to the HR. So if you don't want to use SharePoint Designer 2010, that's fine. But that's the easiest way of doing it. You can use other tools, but what you need to have is this map thing here. And of course, the map should correspond to an image on your site. So that concludes my demo on how to do a hyperlinked image with an image map in SharePoint 2013. Thank you for watching this demo.